Hello, welcome to another lesson. Um, this one is more about writing and I have some good news for you. Um, the standard of writing says that you have to use these in your writing. You do not have to identify them. That means you don't have to look at a word and be like, oh, that's a plural noun or hmm, that's a possessive noun. Or, oh, look at all these pronouns. You just kind of have to understand what they are and you probably use them in your writing naturally already. We just need to know what they are. So we're talking about nouns. We learned about nouns a long time ago. We talk about a noun as a person, place, or thing, um, animal, idea. Those are nouns. So we talk about common nouns. A common noun is just a person, place, or thing. Um, I colored and underlined the nouns in this sentence. The boy saw a dog at the park. The boy, that's a person. A dog, thing, park, place. Common nouns, person, place, thing. Now, a proper noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. The name of a noun. You capitalize these because it's going to be a name. Proper noun is a name. Like Mr. Jones went to Walmart to buy some Legos. It doesn't say he went to the store to buy a toy. The proper nouns, Mr. Jones, that's a person's name, went to Walmart, that's the name of a place, to buy some Legos, that's the name of a thing. And since it's the name of something that they have to start with capital letters. Possessive nouns um, is a person, place, or thing that owns something. Something belongs to them. The girl's dress is flowy. Who's dress? The girl's dress. Usually you just add an apostrophe S and you get a possessive. It means somebody possesses or owns something. Singular nouns. Singular means one. There's only one of them. One person, one place, or one thing. Like a shoe, a doctor, or a lake. There's only one of them. Singular. Plural is more than one. So if you have two three, four, five, all, all of the numbers. If you have more than one thing, then it's a plural noun. More than one person, more than one place, more than one thing. Like shoes, doctors, lakes. Usually you add an S or an ES to make it plural. You make it more than one. And then pronouns. Pronouns replace a noun in a sentence. So you might say, um, Caleb is nice. Well, instead of saying Caleb, you would say he. He is nice. Um, you might say, um, Mr. Stratton and I like TV. Instead of saying that, you might say, we like it. We like it. Pronouns replace um, nouns in a sentence. Um, the other big important thing that you have to do when you're writing with nouns is make sure that your noun agrees with your verb. And I'll tell you what that means because you'll you'll have the lesson about verbs um, coming on this channel soon. Um, but remember, a verb is something that you do. So your noun has to agree with your verb. What that means is if I'm writing a sentence about a shoe, a doctor, or a lake, let's say I'm going to write a sentence about a doctor. I can't say the doctor walk to the store. The doctor walk. That doesn't make sense. I could say the doctor walks or the doctor walked. That means my noun and my verb agree. It makes sense. Um, I couldn't say the doctor skip. I would say the doctor skips. So make sure that your noun and your verb agree. Really easy way to do that, boys and girls, is to just read your sentence that you wrote. Um, write a sentence. Read it out loud. Because if you read it out loud, you're going to catch some of those mistakes. If you made them, you're going to look at it and you're going to say, the doctor skip. Well, that doesn't make any sense. The doctor skip. He skip. That doesn't make sense. Let's say the doctor skips. That makes way more sense. So here are all the kinds of nouns. Remember, you don't have to identify them. But you do have to use them in your writing, and it's helpful to know what they are and understand them so you can use all kinds of different words in your writing. 